Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 27th of 2021. Well, it is titled the dancing auroras of Saturn. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image or actually a combination of images taken uh, of the of Saturn by the Cassini spacecraft back in 2007. And they are looking at it in infrared, which is why it is a false color image. And you see such an unusual pattern on Saturn than what you're used to. And we can see the rings uh, very distinct with their distinct separations and patterns within them. Uh, all of that is caused by moons of Saturn as they move around and their orbital resonances then affect the patterns of particles within those rings. On the surface of Saturn, or should I say within the atmosphere of Saturn, since we can't actually see any surface, we see the patterns in the clouds and we see patterns of light and dark bands, much as we see in Jupiter. Now down towards the bottom towards the pole, we see an aurora. Now the aurora are caused by the charged particles from the sun that strike the magnetic field of a planet and then are funneled into the atmosphere near the poles. So it requires two things to see an aurora and it requires a magnetic field and it requires a planet with an atmosphere. So for example, our moon has neither of these. So you would never see an aurora on the moon. Venus has an has a atmosphere but no magnetic field so we would not see aurora on Venus. However planets like Jupiter and Saturn do have strong magnetic fields as well as significant atmospheres and therefore we do see the aurora there. Now the aurora then excite the particles the atoms within the atmosphere and cause them to glow. On Earth, it's often oxygen and nitrogen atoms here it could be hydrogen atoms or other atoms within Saturn's atmosphere, which are the ones being excited. And it's one of the things when you can study multiple planets with an aurora, you can learn more about the process and help us to better understand how aurora are formed here on Earth. So we like to study things on other planets because it gives us a different perspective and a better understanding of our own planet. So here we get to see Saturn in the infrared from Cassini in an image taken 14 years ago in 2007, helping us to better understand the ringed planet. We still study those images that Cassini took over a decade ago. So that was our picture of the day for June the 27th of 2021. It was titled The Dancing Auroras of Saturn. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be paper moon eclipse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.